Welcome to Thrive Groups. We're glad to have you with us this week. And before we get started, we're going to go over a couple of our guidelines. Uh, first is that everyone participates, no one dominates. So we want to give everybody an opportunity to share their thoughts or ideas or stories, whatever, observations perhaps, and that uh, no one dominates. So we want to just make sure that, that we keep uh, everyone included in the conversation. Also, we start on time, we end on time. So at the end of the group, you know, hey, let's end it, but you can hang out for a few minutes, but let's make sure we stay respectful of the location that we're in uh, at the end of the meeting. So we're going to jump right in. And the first question is, what was a great gift that you received? What was a great gift that you received? And uh, a great gift that, that I received um, was right around the time I was starting Thrive, um, a friend of mine stopped at my house and actually, hang on. He brought me this guitar. <laughs> he just, out of the clear blue, he said, you know what? You're starting a church. I just want to do something to bless you. And so he just handed this to me. And I was just totally caught off guard. I was totally stunned. Wasn't expecting it. But it was just such a nice uh, nice blessing. It was just a great gift. Uh, totally uh, unaware of what was going on. So anyhow, how about you? What was a great gift that you have received at some point in your life? Okay, we're going to read a section of scripture here. This is from 1 Corinthians 12, verse 4 through 7, and it's in, in your notes if you have them. And we're going to take a few moments and talk about anything that stands out to us. So here we go. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit is the source of them all. There are different kinds of service, but we serve the same Lord. God works in different ways, but it is the same God who does all the, does the work in all of us. A spiritual gift is given to each of us so that we can help each other. So let's take a few moments and maybe talk about anything that stands out to you in this verse here. Next question is this, share about a, a gift or a talent that you feel came from God. For me, it's, uh, it's the abil ability to lead. Uh, ever since I was young, I always had this drive and this desire to, to lead people and to accomplish things. I remember when I was around 12 years old, uh, at my dad's church, the church that he pastors, uh, there was a, a gap in, in uh, some of the kids teaching. There wasn't enough teachers. And I was like, you know what? I just want to lead. I want to teach kids. I want to do something. And so from the time I was 12 years old, probably until the time I was in my mid-20s, almost every single weekend, I was teaching kids uh, somewhere. And so it was just this desire to lead. I, I don't know. I wasn't very good at it beginning. But as time progressed, I got better at it and better at it. And, uh, and God used that. So, But how about you? What, what is a gift or talent that you feel in your life maybe came from God? Next question is this. Tell about a time you felt God use you. There's a lot of times, and for me, there's some obvious ones in my life because I am a, a pastor and all that stuff. But, um, but some other, maybe the, the, the less obvious times uh, was one situation when I started arm wrestling with my group of friends and uh, I didn't know them at the time. I just kind of showed up, started arm wrestling, didn't really make a big deal about the fact of what I did for a living, that I was a pastor or anything like that. And over time, they began to know, but they also began to come with me with their issues and their problems and things like that. And I was able to speak into several of their lives and encourage them and hopefully point them in a direction closer to God. So God uh, used me in that way through arm wrestling of all things. So how about you? Uh, share about a time when you felt like God used you. The last question is, what is a way that you can use your gifts for God, for his glory? You know, for me, it's, it's you know, I can use my gifts maybe in, in encouraging people and in leading people and in developing other leaders, helping them to accomplish the work that God has called them to do. That's kind of one of my big goals is to, to give people a chance, to give them opportunities to, to serve God and to lead others. But how about you? What, what, what are some of the gifts that God has given you and how can you use them now to uh, advance his kingdom, to serve God? Well, hey, thanks so much for joining us this week. We're so glad that you're here. We're going to take a few moments to close in prayer. So we're going to go around the room. Uh, we don't want to make it super awkward, but we do want to encourage you to, to just talk to God for a moment or two. It doesn't have to be fancy. You can be just nice and simple and sweet. And then when you're done, you can say amen or, or whatever. The next person will go. We'll go all the way around the room until the leader closes it up. So again, thank you guys so much for being here. Let's close in prayer.